Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be going over the top 5 best Chrome extensions for web developers which are going to make your life a lot easier by saving you a lot of time. Now before we get started, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, but now let's get started. The first Chrome extension that I'm going to go over is going to be a form filler which is going to fill out all inputs that you're going to have with dummy data so let's say that let's just go to bootstrap and then we can go here let's search up forms so that we get a random form and this is going to be the extension so if i click it now we can see this form fill out with dummy data and let's actually go bigger so i'm going to open this bootstrap example of a checkout so we have a lot of forms here and instead of writing this manually, so let's say that this was your website and then you would have to check if all of these inputs worked and then click on the button. What you can do is just click on this button and then it's just going to autofill every single form in here and even check boxes, as you can see here. And we can keep clicking it and it's going to be generating new dummy data and we can see that the checkbox also change. So this is all going to be randomized and it's going to be really useful. And what you're going to want to do is go to Chrome Web Store. So here and then all you're going to write is fake filler and then this is how you find it. Now moving on to the second Chrome extension, which is going to allow you to see what websites are built with. So things like their framework, their, let's say, JavaScript libraries, CSS libraries, and so on. And what you can do with that information is maybe learn these frameworks, libraries, and so on. So let's actually go to YouTube. Now this is going to be the extension, so if I click it, we're going to see this is going to be the JavaScript framework that they're using. Video player is going to be YouTube security, HSTS, their font scripts from Google Font API, JavaScript libraries here, and then all of the other stuff in here. So we can obviously turn it off, turn it on, make it dark themed and so on. But the most important part is that let's say I wanted to learn the JavaScript framework that YouTube is using. I could click on it, wait a bit, and then now it's going to show me some more information about it. Like what other websites use it. So we got bluehost.com, some other stuff here. And then we can keep scrolling down and see other information. So what countries use it, languages, and so on. And once it installs, we're going to see this page open up. And we don't need to sign up. All we need to do is... Uh, pin it and then we're going to need to click on it and then we're going to see all of the information that we needed to know. And so we can see that the name of this Chrome extension is going to be Wapalizer. Developer Tools made it and it has over 2 million users. And all that you're going to want to do is click on Add Extension, wait for it to load. And once it installs, we're going to see this page open up. And now if we pin it, so click on this icon here and click on the pin button and then we're going to see it show up here and if we click it we're going to see all of the information that we wanted to know and now moving on to the third chrome extension which is going to clear out your local storage session storage and also your cookies at once so all of the keys all of the values they're going to be cleared with one click which is going to save you a lot of time when you work on your own projects so let's actually just go to youtube and then I'm going to inspect this page, go to application, and then in local storage, let's click here. And we can see that we have a lot of keys in here and values. But then if we click on our Chrome extension, we're going to see them all get removed. And then we're going to see this guy appear again, maybe. But either way, we can see them get removed. And it's just going to save you a lot of time. And it's obviously going to work on every single website that you're going to use. So we can go to Facebook, click on the Chrome extension, and we're going to see everything disappear. And so this is going to be the name of the Chrome extension, Clear Session, and over 20,000 users are using it. And all they need to do to add it is click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. We're going to see this window show up. And then we're going to need to pin it. And let's just make sure that it works. So we can go to YouTube. Let's open our DevTools, go to Application. And if we click it, we're going to see all of this get removed. And now moving on to the fourth Chrome extension, which is going to be the quote unquote ultimate design tool for creatives. So let's go to Bootstrap, click on the Chrome extension, and we're going to see that it's going to be called Snap Color Picker. 
And then if we read this, it's going to say use the color picker tool to select a pixel on the page or select the color from the list below. So if we take a look at the bottom right here, we're going to see the color here that I'm hovering. So if I hover white, we're going to see it change to white. Here we're going to see the hex color and then the RGB. I'm pretty sure it's RGB. Yeah. And then let's say that I like this yellow. I will just click on it, go back here and we can see it saving here. And then it's also going to show the web page main color right here. So we're going to see the hex, the HSL, and CSS. And all they're going to need to do to copy it is just click on it. So let's say that I wanted to copy the hex. I will just click on it. Now if I go here and press Control V, we can see that it's copied. And we can obviously clear any, any colors that we add. So let's add this color. Let's add the yellow maybe some other colors so we can add this blue right here and it's going to show us all the information about all these different colors and to remove them all that we need to do is click on clear and like i said before the name of the chrome extension is going to be snap color picker and then over a million users are using it so all they need to do is just click on add and there is no sign up or anything so let's pin it and we can see that it works, but on this website doesn't work because it's made by Google and it says that it doesn't work on privileged pages. Moving on to the fifth Chrome extension, which is going to be a design tool. So let's go to Bootstrap and let's just say that this was my website and I wanted to make sure all of my CSS works well. Then I would click on the Chrome extension and then this menu is going to show up. We have a lot of different tools here. And so you can do a lot of different things here. So let's say we're going to use this inspect tool and I wanted to see some CSS properties and their values here. And then also more information about this element. Then I would hover the element I want and you can click it and then it's going to stay. And so you're going to see a lot of information about the element. So it's going to be an image with all of its classes. We can see its dimensions and then all of the CSS properties and values. And so this is going to be only one tool out of all of these other useful tools. And let's just go over another one. So this is going to be an edit text. So let's say I had some text and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted. And instead of keep going back and forth from my editor to the website, what you could do is use this tool. And then let's just say that I want to change width to using. Then we could do that with this tool and there we go. So now it's going to be build fast responsive sites using bootstrap instead of with like that. And then there's obviously a lot of other tools. So maybe we can use this one and then it's basically just going to tell us the colors of the element that we're going to be hovering. So right now this is going to be a purple with the hex value. And obviously there's a lot of other tools that I haven't went over. And so VizBook is going to be the name of this Chrome extension and we can see that it's going to be made by DevTools and it's going to have over 100,000 users and all they need to do is just click on add to Chrome and there's no sign up. And so this is going to be it for this video so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, comment down below if you want to see more content like this and hopefully see you in the next video.